Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I am just about to finish my first year of university. So I thought it would be fun to answer your questions about college and university. I put up a little Instagram for people to input questions and I've kind of compiled everything into a little Google Docs here. So I'm just gonna be giving you guys my tips and advice. So the first big topic that I got was figuring out what you want. For me personally, it was super easy because I kind of knew since the seventh grade, just because I got injured a lot in dance and I realized I wanted to help other people who were also injured. So physiotherapy is kind of the route that I want to go. But I completely understand it can be an incredibly stressful, frustrating and overwhelming process to try to figure out what you want. So I have created three questions to help you guide and find your way into what you want to do. The first question is, what are your favorite classes in school? This is really good with helping you figure out whether you want to go into the arts or sciences. And there's also business and engineering, which are the other two like major departments that universities have. To be honest, you really only need to know that for your first year. You can always transfer different degrees and programs once you're in the school. Number two is, what are you passionate about? This is a hard question for me to answer for you personally, so just take the time to reflect on what makes you happy and what makes you thrive and motivated. Because that is quite important in university, you do not want to go into something that you absolutely hate or have no intrinsic motivation for. There are going to be times where things are incredibly rough and you are going to want to drop out, especially during exam season or midterm season. It can be very overwhelming and if you don't have that intrinsic motivation to keep you going, it's going to be really hard to find a reason to stay. Number three is what hobbies do you have? Like for me, it was dance and I kind of found my own little path that way. So maybe that can help you too if you have something that you really like. My last advice is that college is never a bad idea. You can always transfer to university after in your third year, fourth year, whatever, get those credits first and then transfer and you're still gonna get the same degree. Also, you're gonna save a ton of money. The next category that I'm covering is personal profiles and essays. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, I didn't finish my personal profile for my university until the night before. But if there is one big, big tip that I'm have to give you, do not submit it the day of or the night of. The site is going to crash and you are going to stress yourself out. Submit it two days early, that's all. But with the general writing of your essay or your personal profile, it's quite literally in the name. Make it personal. Write about your growth or what you've learned from either a sports team or just like in life. It can be about anything. Universities want to see that you've grown over the years and they want to see that you are committed to something as well. I got a question about what is important before applying to college and university and this would be it. Have something that you're committed to. They want to see long-term commitment. They want to see that you've grown, that you've learned something. So write it about that. The third topic that I'm covering is something that your schools probably won't really tell you and it's picking your courses. So if you didn't know, you actually pick your courses depending on your grades that you get in high school. You were ranked according to your GPA. I know some schools do have like a minimum GPA that you have to hit or else your acceptance will be revoked, but try your best to keep up your grades. It's really important because that's how you pick your classes. You don't want to be stuck with the 8 a.m. class. I'm telling you, it sucks. Not that I had an 8 a.m., but my friends had an 8 a.m. and you you don't want an 8 a.m. It, it's gonna be awful. So keep your grades up at the end of the year so you can be one of the first people to pick your classes and pick what's good for you. Also, another thing that's really important is just knowing how you work best. Like for me, I cannot wake up early in the morning for the life of me. So for my first term, all of my classes I picked were 12 p.m. and later. For our program, we had set lectures that you have to take and they're at a set time, so I couldn't really change those. 
but we have labs that you can pick, so I picked all the later ones. If you work best in the morning though, try your best to get classes early in the morning. I can guarantee you most people will not want to take early classes anyways, so you'll probably get a spot. And next we have going to classes. Go to them. They're not mandatory, there's no attendance, but go. It is so important to go to classes. Once you start excusing yourself to not go this one time, it's gonna just spiral down and you're just never gonna show up to class. Classes are important. That's where you absorb the material. Even if you just sit there and you're on your phone the whole time, it's better than not showing up at all. So please show up to class. There probably are gonna be participation stuff that's very valuable. This is another hot tip, use Rate My Professor. For me, at least, I didn't really get a say on who my teachers were because my lectures and stuff were set. I have to take those classes. But if you have an elective, you're gonna wanna use it. It can give you a little sneak peek on what your teacher's like from previous students, and it can mentally prepare you a lot. So for upcoming freshmen, there probably are going to be events for you guys at the beginning of the year or just before the year starts. I don't know about other schools, but here we had an intro kind of week before the semester started. So that's really good for making friends. Like you can just sign up and there's campus tours and you can like get to know some of the profs and stuff like that. It's very valuable and it's really, really good. If not, you can always just go to your school website. They usually have campus tours that you can book prior to moving in or going to your school. Also around like a week, two weeks before they have like the set like a lecture hall or classroom of where that class is gonna be. So if you wanna just grab a friend that's also at that school or just go with your family to walk around and try to figure out where your classes are, that would be really helpful as well. Dorm life, campus life, and all of that. Personally, I am in a semi-suite which means that I don't share like a bedroom with anyone else, but I do share a bathroom with my roommate, which is next door. I feel like that would probably be the best option. I can also confidently say, please do not get a room with communal bathrooms, unless you want a nightmare. If you have a friend that is also going to the same school, you can try to apply for a dorm with them and like there's a whole process so it depends on the school you're just gonna have to search it up but you can probably put in like a request form to share a room with them the last topic i got was friendships making friends can be really hard especially for someone like me who came from a tiny school i knew everyone in my grade so it was a little bit difficult but i've made really really good friends and i have a really solid friend group now so I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna make lots of friends. University is also really big and you're gonna be meeting new people like all throughout your four years. So making friends should not be something that you worry about. Whereas maintaining old friendships, it's where it gets hard. University and college is a really stressful time for a lot of people. It's also a really busy time you're not gonna be able to keep in touch with everyone, I'm sorry to say. But like any other friendship, it takes effort and energy to maintain it, even if it's a low maintenance relationship. All I can say is just text each other once in a while and not like a, oh, you know, just a casual, hey, how you're doing? Oh, I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm good, cool and call it a day. You can schedule a time to call each other for just like half an hour or an hour and actually like talk to each other, which has been something that I do with a couple of my friends as well. Also, if you're like moving away for school, whenever you go back home, you can always text a couple of your friends and be like, hey, I'm coming back this weekend. Like, do you think we can meet up? Like, are you free? Stuff like that can also be really helpful. So that's it for today's video. I hope you walk away with something new. If anyone has any other questions, you can leave them in the comments below or you can DM me on Instagram. I will check them and maybe make a part two. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Cool.